Well, the Shinbunner of the century was wandering by Richard, and we decided we're going to hold him and uh, have a bit of a chat. What a great night for your club. I know you love it more than anyone, Arch. Uh, where does he sit, Boomer, in uh, terms of the great kangaroo players for you? Oh, for me, he's number two. Um, obviously, Wayne Carey's number one. Very hard to go past him, but um, his record speaks for itself. Yeah. Um, he probably can on two hands. Uh, the average games that he's played in 427, the consistency has been amazing. Hey, Arch, you were there when he first got to the club, obviously a young fella, come from the northern suburbs of Melbourne. When you look at someone they first arrived, you wouldn't have had no idea what he was going on to achieve. Oh, absolutely, particularly Boomer. Like, yeah. he came in five foot one, weighing about <laughs> 65 kilos, and actually looked like a 15-year-old. So when you see him from day one, you'd never think this was going to happen, but... Uh, is it, is it true the first day you did the tan time trial, Boomer rocked up and he walked over towards you and you thought it was a kid coming over to get your autograph or not? Yeah, yeah it wasn't at the tan, it was at the club. And I only saw him in the club. I, I thought he was just a supporter. Because <laughs> he, he looks so young. Can you believe he's gone on to achieve uh, the record-breaking amount of games, 427, which is uh, just uh, fantastic. Now, Arch, we thought you we were catching up with you pre-game and we wanted to, uh, to show you this. I know there's some great stories. We could spend an hour talking about great Glen Archer stories. Yeah. But one of our favourites is your ragdolled a great mate of ours, Ben Harrison, in one of the, <laughs> the funniest things that we've ever seen. And we managed to find it. Poor old Ben Harrison, who was the least confrontational player ever to play <laughs> AFL football. And there's you with a body slam on uh, Ben Harrison. But the great ending to the story is he got fined for wrestling you, <laughs> which he took no $3,000. And you felt so bad, Arch, it's true, you paid his fine, didn't you? I did. I, uh, I actually felt really bad because the vision didn't show up, but I actually whacked him in the mouth first, <laughs> then threw him on the ground, and the poor bugger got a $3,000 fine. Her, I, uh, I remember he rang me and said, you can't believe this, Arch has assaulted me, and I've been fined. <laughs> <laughs> it says something about Arch that he actually did cop up and uh, pay the fine, which Harrow duly accepted, yeah, mind yeah. you, didn't argue yeah. uh, at yeah, all. Not for it back. <laughs> he banked it. Where can your club uh, go this year, Arch? They started superbly. A bit of a hiccup, but do you feel like they can do some damage in the finals? I think so. Uh, next week will be interesting with the Bulldogs. They're obviously decimated with injury. Um, but for me, the club plays really well when they bring the heat and they bring the pressure. So we've got really good structures. When we've got the ball, we, we use it pretty well. But it's when the opposition's got the ball. So the, the first 10 rounds, their pressure was amazing. They dropped off. Now they bring the pressure back. If they keep that, that, that up, they can beat anyone. And aren't you enjoying being back at the club, involved a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, uh, on the board now for a couple of years and re really enjoying it. It's probably the best uh, well, off-field and on-field position the club's ever been in. You yeah. know, we've got more money in the bank than debt, uh, yeah. 45,000 members, and when you think back nine years ago when James Brayshaw took over, yeah. I never thought we'd be in this position, so he, uh, he's done an amazing job. Yeah, it's great. yeah, he's done a great job. Now, Arch, uh, the North Melbourne footy trips were legendary. You were a massive part of it, but somehow you've managed to keep them going post-football, which is an extraordinary story in, in itself. Now, tell us what you get up to. Every time I hear what you're up you're over at the Super Bowl, you're over at the Monaco Grand Prix. How have you pulled this off? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I, say, I do say to the wife, I'm off to work now. I'm going to Wimbledon and the British Open. And um, she, uh, she doesn't think it's work, but it is work. I uh, provide a, a good service for, for our clients and get to tick off a few bucket lists along the way. Well, let's give it a plug because you and your great mate Lee Colbert put it together. Is it Coda Entertainment? Uh, Coda Entertainment Group. Yep. Code with a K, not a C. Um, yeah, so, so what, what's the next trip now? Uh, just got back from Europe. We did the Wimbledon men's final and then we went into the battlefields of France and then did the British Open, so that was that was a big trip. So I'm, I'm home for a few weeks and then off to Hong Kong for the races. Oh, tough life. He's on tough fire. Life. If you want to go on a footy trip with Glen Archer, head uh, and have a look at Coda <laughs> Entertainment. You'll have the best trip of your life, Arch. Congratulations on uh, Thanks, a Arch. massive night for your football club. As always, you're the heart and soul. Bring everyone together. Well done.